back. They're one of the longest running shows out there today. Their music is amazing and their shows are spectacular. I'm talking about the Blue Man Group and we've got two of the members here with me now. Obviously not so blue as we <laughs> talked about before. Mike Brown and Adam Zuick. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Thank okay, you for having so us. Okay, so what's it like being a celebrity but nobody knows who you are? Uh, for me, it's uh, I explain it like it's like being a superhero. No one knows who we are and we get to do this awesome thing and then just walk amongst regular people and and Have you ever walked amongst regular people fully made up, and how does that go? Oh, yeah, that's just being a blue man. <laughs> yeah, it's really awesome. Oh, I love it. Tell me about the show and what people can expect. I mean, like we mentioned, you have been one of the longest-running shows, like, forever. So tell me about the show. Uh, well, it's it's kind of a different experience than any other show you've, you've ever been to. Uh, uh, there is a lot of music, uh, kind of a rock element to it. Uh, but there's a lot of uh, very different aspects of the show. Um, we have uh, a lot of PVC instruments like you're seeing on the screen right now. Uh, the Blue Men pay play these instruments and they're uh, doing all these things to kind of communicate with the audience uh, non-verbally. Right, um, because you guys spend the entire show not talking. Mm -hmm. Right. Right, and so people might, what, what's so interesting about a show where no one's talking for a couple hours? For me, the most interesting part about that is that you kind of get to make up what the show is about and who the Blue Men is and why they're there. So uh, it's really kind of like a choose your own adventure in a weird way. So you get to make up what the show is about. It's perfect. I love it. And both of you guys, I, I'm hearing, were theater majors, mm -hmm. right? And so is, did you know that something like this, one of these traveling shows, and of course the Blue Man show is just incredible, that this was something you'd want to do? And did you train in college that helped you with these roles? Uh, yeah. Uh, I went to uh, performing arts high school. Uh, and then after that, I kind of got into professional musical theater is what I did before Blue Man. Um, and uh, just kind of my mesh between music and acting uh, made me audition for the show and uh, I went and saw the show and was kind of blown away by it and uh, since then it's it's just history and I, I love every moment of it. Awesome, and? He kind of took all the words from my <laughs> mouth. Uh, I went to school for theater. I, when I first saw the show I flipped out and fell in love with it and I knew that it was something I wanted to do. I still have friends who are like, I remember that day and I could tell that you were going to do it. and. I actually started working for Blue Man as a crew member and then uh, doing all like backstage work and then six months later I had an audition and dream come true. I love it. Now we I know you guys will be performing at the AT&T Performing Arts Center. We've had some other groups come through here who've been performing there. What's it like traveling with a group of people who sort of become your family, right? That's exactly what it is. You're a huge, you're a big tight knit uh, family who's just traveling everywhere, eating together, hanging out together, sleeping in the same hotels. And Fighting on this with each other. No, actually, we <laughs> all get along really well. Awesome. What's awesome about Blue Man is everybody's kind of cut from the same cloth, mm -hmm. and so everybody just gets, to, gets along uh, really well, and we're all working towards the same goal, which is to put on a great show that we all love. I love it. What sort of advice would you give? There's so many kids out there um, who want to be theater majors. We've got a wonderful school here called Booker T. Washington. What would you give, what sort of advice would you give to those younger kiddos looking up to you guys going, I want to do what you're doing someday? You know, I personally, I would say uh, go to shows and just keep, keep at it. Uh, personally, I, I got a lot of my experience just by watching other actors mm -hmm. and watching them perform. And uh, I think one of the, the best things to do is to go and watch, watch live theater. Come, come watch our show, of course. Yeah, um, but uh, the, of course, keep going with it. Uh, it, it doesn't happen immediately. Mm -hmm. It uh, takes a long time for some people. And, and uh, if it's something that you're really, really uh, inspired to do, then, then go for it. Lots of Keep perseverance. Yeah. yeah. So if you do what you love, you you're not working. So right. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And so you guys, I'm sure, want to keep doing this for as long as possible, right? You've been on this tour for two years. This is your first year. I've been a right. blue man for uh, over 11 years. Oh wow. Yeah. yeah. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. So what's next? Like, you want to keep doing this? Will they'll be venturing out, doing some other projects? Uh, yeah, I would love to uh, always broaden my horizons, however uh, it is as a performer. Mm -hmm. But the cool part about Blue Man is. I, every night, because I'm thinking and using my own imagination, I can really be whoever I want mm. internally. So it, as a performer, Blue Man Group is very rewarding, or, or being a Blue Man is very rewarding in those regards. I love it. How about you? Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I've only been doing the show for about a year and a half now, uh, but if, uh, it's, a, it's a constant growing experience doing the show. Uh, it's never the same, and so it's it's not uh, you kind of plateau. You're continually trying to go higher and higher, and and uh, keep developing your character. I, we uh, we get notes after every show to kind of 
uh, keep our character going and keep building as as blue men. Uh, so it's constantly growing, and so there's not really like a stopping point. Or Are like there a, women in the show? Uh, there was uh, one woman. Mm -hmm. Everybody's encouraged to come out and audition. Mm -hmm. There's no uh, restrictions sure. in, like that. But we did have one woman in Boston. She was a blue man for about three years, Very and then cool. she just moved on to other things. Awesome. Well, you guys should keep at it because then you get to come visit us here exactly. and we can right. have some more fun. <laughs> All right, you can see the Blue Man Group on stage now through January 4th at the AT&T Performing Arts Center, of course, Winspear Opera House. For tickets, just head to attpack.org or call 214-880-0202. And they're fighting over the popcorn. I love that one. I want that one. <laughs> All right, while you're gathering the food and beverage for your New Year's celebration, you might also grab these ingredients. Stick around to see what we're mixing up when the broadcast returns.